everyone today we are going to study the open interest as well as the volume and delivery data for a stock tata power this stock had appeared in the rmi new bullish signals a couple of days back let's try to understand if we are able to get any insights from the open interest that is combined open interest so i have taken the combined future open interest here along with the spot price So if you just try to look at the OI, then you can see there are broad ranges that it has formed. That is uh, one important zone I'm able to see that is prior to 2020 bottoms that is here and post one uh, that resistance kind of level was taken out on the OI. Now it has become the lower limit for the OI. So this also happens uh, with the increase in price that a new base is formed in OI as well. So we can see whenever the OI is too high, then there is a cool off and when it is too low, that, that is when new positions are built in either direction. So let's try to see what happened previous time when the OI was this low. So Prior to reaching the OI at this level, the, the stock had already fell, which caused a reversal and fresh long buildup was seen in the stock for some time. Now again, the OI uh, was unwinded here. It reached almost the oversold zone. And from there on again, there was some fresh buildup. Now what we have seen in the later stages of this rally is this this whole long buildup that was done here in this part of the rally is now unwinded. Yes. This whole OI is unwinded. Now it is back to the levels from where fresh OI is built. Now what can be the possible scenarios from here on? So provided it does not go back below this line, that is that this is the lower range of the open interest for now we have to see in which direction the oi gets built from here on so let's say the stock continues its upside journey from here on and makes new higher highs and higher lows and the oi is added similar to this scenario you can see the price is going up as well as increase in OI. and opposite scenario will be if the price starts to break down from here with the increase in OI, that will be fresh short build up so OI can be in either direction, be it short or long. That is something we have to observe with the help of price action. So let's try to see the delivery data as well for this stock. So as you can see, fresh breakouts, whenever it has broken out to a new high, it is followed by a, a, a good jump in deliveries like here as well so now we only had one day that is yesterday we had a good number of uh, delivery shares today's data will probably be getting on the end of day basis so that needs to be seen whether the delivery also picks up along with this or not in terms of other data points like the rmi setup that we can see in the charts tab so on the weekly it has already crossed over to the sell side but it is still holding the other parameters like the outtrend and 20 week as well as 40 week average. The last time the signal came, it pulled back to the weekly averages. In terms of daily chart, in terms of daily chart, it did give a fresh bullish signal in the fourth, on the 4th of March. Now it has, it is right at the upper Bollinger band. So this is, this would be an important level. I think it is also in conjunction with the upper level of a, if we try to draw a parallel channel from here. No, it's already out of that channel. So that is not relevant. So upper Bollinger band is at 400.58 as seen here. And today's high is 399.95. So broadly 400 can be an important zone for the stock. If it is able to break out above that along with the fresh buildup in OI or not, that needs to be seen for a uh, positional point of view for this talk. So thank you. Stay tuned for more such analysis.